one here. Um, you know, it's been a long time since I've been on, uh, mostly due to my camera, but uh, I'm gonna upload something really well, other than what I got now. I'm gonna upload something really soon. Um, most of my time has been spent trying to get a bigger bite, and um, it's really hard to try to get a, a bigger bike. Uh, and not spend a whole lot of money for because uh, me and my buddy are trying to get um, bikes uh, he's trying to get he's actually trying to get rid of his uh, Hyosung GV250 cruiser I'm actually keeping my Ninja 250 um, but he's trying to get a motorcycle that's bigger he hasn't been riding but for maybe two months and he's trying to get a bigger bike, maybe a, you know, like a 600. And he's trying to get one that's ready to ride and ready to go. And he's trying to do it for two grand. And he wants it to be fuel injected. The problem is, is in our area um, of Mississippi, in order for you to get a fuel injected bike that's ready to run, you're gonna spend upwards of three grand plus. And he wants to spend two grand. Um, but what I did is I went the I went the getaway I went the cheap way out and I bought a Jigser 01 Jigser 600 I think it's one 600 uh, it's had three owners uh, the one owner I can't remember who it was but the second owner was a girl uh, she tried to paint it pink I love them. And the guy that I just got it from, uh, he laid it down running from the police. Frame slider. Uh huh. And he he was in the process of painting it white. Um, it's got I think eighteen thousand miles on it, which honestly, in uh, damn it, whole bundle of keys. Honestly, uh, damn it. See, it's not, it's the, it's not like my ninja where I can just stick the key in and it turns. I have to actually play with this key. Oh, actually, actually, it has to be pulled out just slightly to turn. But, yeah. Anyway. What'd I do? I just did it again. Screw it. But anyway, it's got like 18,000 miles. I think it was 18,111. Yeah, there we go. Uh, it's got, yeah, 18,111 fuel lights on. Uh, I've bought a new stator cover. That's here. Um, I've got a new foot peg coming. Um, I've got a new chain coming. Um, I've got a new radiator coming because this one has a hole in it. It's got a hole somewhere around. Well, obviously there, but it's got a hole in that like general area. <laughs> and then the bottom here, where it actually broke off of the radiator, and. Pretty sure I know what everybody is gonna want. Let's hold on. Oh, wait, it's in gear. It's in gear. It's in gear. I, I, I gotta get you really used to this. On the Ninja, in order to start the bike, of course it has to be a neutral for me to not touch it. But there we go. I was wondering why the fuel pump didn't kick on. Um, it is fuel injected. Yes. Um. But unlike my Ninja, where if it, since it's in neutral, neutral light, I can't start it. I don't know if this is a you know a, a leader bike thing or or what. Um, but the only way to start it is I actually have to hold the clutch and start it. But yeah, uh, it needs a tune up. After I forgot what what happened, but it's been sitting up on the back of my truck for so long 
uh, that it needs <laughs> it needs the spark plug. Well, actually, I'm gonna take the ones out and clean them first before I do that. But um, it's at 82 degrees right now, 83 degrees. But uh, it already has the Yoshimura exhaust on it, and that's all I got right now. I got new mirrors. I'm gonna put the mirrors on today too. Uh, they're uh, inter integrated LED turn signals that are carbon fiber. They're carbon fiber integrated LED turn signals. I'm getting those. And there was something else I was getting. Um, I don't know. But this is like a before and after uh, of it. But this is what I've been up to. Yeah. And I guess I should give it a little rev. I really like how this one rubs a lot higher. It's not hot, warm enough for it yet, but I'm gonna move it up so I can actually get it out of the street. Peace, guys.